Hello and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill and today we're talking about relays. Happy Vending. So what exactly is a relay? Well, a relay is like a switch and basically the control board of the machine sends low voltage, maybe like 24 volts DC to the relay and then that activates a switch in the relay which then switches a higher voltage, maybe 120 volts or 220 volts so that the control board can control high voltage components in a vending machine like the lights or the compressor and it does that just by sending out low voltage so the, the control board isn't actually uh, switching the full 120 volts the relay is doing the actual switching these are things that often go bad in vending machines and if you ever come to your vending machine and the sodas are warm you don't want to automatically assume that the compressor went bad. You got to think, well, maybe, maybe it's the relay that the control board is telling the compressor to turn on, but the relay isn't actually switching the compressor on. So that's one of the first things that I check in a vending machine. Now, in this Royal G3 machine, I actually added a relay. If you take a look up here, this was an add-on relay so that I could have the control board control the lights in the machine to help the uh, school where this machine is located save some electricity at night when nobody's in the building, the lights would turn off. Also, it helps the bulbs in the machine last a little longer by turning them off when you don't really need them to be on. But this machine didn't have the light relay in it and many of the G3s didn't ship with the light relay it was an add-on kit so I bought the kit they gave you the relay the jumper cables that go to the control board as well as go down to where the lights get the voltage I mounted the relay here because they only give you a certain amount of wire that go from the relay up to the control board and a certain amount of wire that go down to the other part so you had to sort of pick a spot midway between the two. So that was an add-on relay. The compressor relay is down here at the bottom of the machine. You can see this whole relay brick right here. That's the relay that would turn on and off the compressor. Most of the G3 machines do not have the um, add-on to turn on, on and off the the evaporator fan. That fan is always running in the machine so that's why nothing's connected to that but uh, we do have the connections going to the compressor. And I always keep a backup relay in case one of these go bad in my machine. I can swap that out. It's something you always wanna have an extra of, the relays that your machine needs. So if you're thinking you might be having a relay issue on your machine, there is a way to go into the control board and test your relay. And the way you do this, on these G3 machines is you come up here, this is a newer board, it has the small blue button to go into your programming mode. You press that button once and then you go to the front of your machine, to the displays, you navigate through everything with the first four buttons of the machine. I'm going to go up here until I get to test. To enter that, I'm going to press the fourth button and you have different tests that you can do in your machine. We want to go to the relay test. So we're going to keep going up until we see relay. And there it is. And now to enter that, I'm going to press four, the fourth button. Now this is the compressor relay. Right now we see a zero at the end. That means the relay is turned off, so the compressor should be off. Now if I press the fourth button, it should turn that zero to a one, and that should turn on the relay for the compressor, and you'll actually hear the compressor turn on. You'll hear the click of the relay, and then the compressor come on. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna hit the fourth button. I don't know if you could hear it. I could hear it. 
and I hear the compressor running now, so I know that that relay is working. If I press this again, that will go to a zero, and it will turn the compressor off. Boom. So my compressor relay is working great. I'm going to go up now to the next relay. This is the fan relay, the evaporator fan. Like I told you, uh, most of the machines do not have that set up that you can actually turn on and off the, um, the fan. And this one is no exception to that. Like if I try to do this, nothing happens. The fan just continuously runs. So there's no relay set up for the fan in this machine. Let's go up to the next one. Here is the light relay. Now this is the one that I added to this machine. I put in the light relay so that it will turn on and off the light. Zero means the relay is off. Press the fourth button, it's gonna turn that light relay on. Boom, and now you see the lights have come on the machine. If I hit that fourth button again, it will turn the relay off and the lights turn off. The other options in here, if I go up, this is the heater relay. Some machines, they have a heater in them. If it's a machine, like a soda machine that's outside and in, in winter months it gets real cold and you don't want the cans freezing inside the machine. So instead of cooling the, mach the machine on the inside, it actually has a heater unit which warms the machine. This particular G3 does not have a heater in it, so this relay is not going to do anything and then I go up and it goes right back to the compressor. So they're the relays that you can test in your G3 machines. Well, hopefully now you know something about relays and you can troubleshoot them on your own and replace them if they go bad. That's all for this episode. As always, happy vending.